The News with Jessica is sponsored by Hover.com. Domain names made simple. Go to gfq.hover.com and get 10% off your entire purchase. And by Stitcher Radio. For more information, go to stitcher.com slash gfq. son of a bitch all right well as we mentioned before hulk hogan does have a sex tape out and he's freaking out apparently saying get my naked ass off the internet he has um armed for, uh he's joined forces with some lawyers who have sending cease and desist letters to um the people who have sent these pictures out across i think it's the dirty.com the world. right yes the dirty.com so there are you know cease and desist letters out there telling the dirty.com to remove all photos and you know we'll see i guess we'll have to follow this story as it as it comes out do you want to see it let me yeah, see if I, I get do. there's one that i could pull up all right in the uh, meantime i'll move on uh i don't know if i could pull these up turn around No, I can't pull it up. Yeah, that's totally Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So you can tell by the shitty hair extensions he has on the back. Yeah. All right. So why, why doesn't he just shave his head? Um, all right. Uh, so TLC is going on tour. So um, as in the channel or the eight, the 90s girl band, the 90s girl band TLC is uh, going okay. on tour now. Most notably from that group was Lisa Left Eye Lopez, the crazy bitch, the crazy one Set most noted for setting her boyfriend's house on fire. Um, I was she, burning his sneakers in the tub. That's she, what she said. Well, she died. Who burns sneakers in tubs? I don't know. But Not she, in the fire. No. She died a while back. In a but, car crash. In Tupac Shakur style, they are bringing her back for a very special tour where they are. Which going one has Sicka have... Cell? I thought that was Lisa. No, maybe it's T Boz. T- no, Chili. T no T Bo- does T Boz have Sicka Cell? Sure, Let's you got Sicka Cell something. I don't know. Yeah, so they brought anyway. Tupac back. They brought yeah. when they brought back. So they're doing it that way. They're going to bring her back for this tour that they're doing. This just seems so ridiculous oh, to me. Oh, man. That I feel like it's going to be everywhere Every, now. Everyone. All these dead artists are going to come. Frank Sinatra is going to do a No, concert. see, I don't think we're going to get. Well, you know what? Wouldn't you go see a Frank Sinatra concert? I don't know. Seems, like a hologram of Frank Sinatra? like Frankie. weird. To see. Like, yeah. Like, uh, you, know, you know where I see them doing this? I see first mm-hmm. a lot of like unknown bands doing mm-hmm. this. Like unknown like not unknown, but like a TLC to do it because TLC on the grand spectrum of music, yes, they 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 were popular at a time, but nobody talks about TLC. Mm-hmm. Like you don't hear TLC on the radio. Right. Hendrix, as an example, is always on the radio. Mm-hmm. Like people, Hendrix, it was a a music god to many people. Right. I think you're gonna see not the Jimi Hendrixes of music, but mm-hmm. you're gonna see the Left Eye Lopez of music. Yeah. I could see that. Or what I'm thinking you're going to see, and this is going to be silly, like bands where the lead singer is no longer with the band because the record label owns the rights. They might be able to say like, okay, David Lee Roth isn't with Van Halen anymore. But he can be. Now he can be. (laughs) Yeah, that's so weird. Like that's going to be bad. This is all so strange. Like can you imagine a Nirvana reunion? No. Like that's what I think we're going to see. We're going to see Kurt Cobain. Right. And like Nirvana of now. Right. A lot of 90s people. Like a lot of these 90s people you're going to start seeing. Like Biggie. Biggie's probably going to come back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It's going to require more than one. You know, it's not a hologram. It's an illusion. It's a piece of glass. That's at an angle mm. and another piece of glass on the bottom and the projector. So it projects and it like shoots out. And mm. when Snoop Dogg was there, like if he had gone like a little further back, he would have fell into the, the glass. Abyss. Abyss of, of <laughs> holograms. It's reminded me a little bit too much of Minority Report. I, but I think it's cool. I mean, listen, it's... it's All right, well, because it was at Coachella, I think it was interesting because mm. a lot of these people were really fucked up. Yeah, that's Like they're all on peyote and they're all on A e. surprise, that's cool. But like purposely go. doing it and then sending it yeah. out as what it is. Like would you go to the Nassau Coliseum no. to see? No. 
I wouldn't some, go to the Nassau Coliseum to see anything. To see anything. Would you go to the garden to see, you know what else you're going to start seeing? Basketball games. Mm. Can you imagine that? Right. Like you're going to be able to see, okay, you know what? Basketball is really shitty right now. So why don't you come and see the 98 Chicago Bulls versus the 98 New York Knicks in the garden? Mm-hmm. I think you're going to start seeing see that, that happen. Right, right. Like it's going to be nutty. It's going to be crazy. Right, right, right. Already, I think I forgot what website it was, and they're like, "Is this played out already?" I'm like, "It hasn't even happened." <laughs> well, I think it was Gawker. Today already, today marks the 10 year anniversary of that fatal car accident that took Lisa Left Eye Lopez's life back in Honduras. That's what you got for going to Honduras. All right, so Octomom, yeah, our very favorite welfare mom, blows about five hundred and twenty dollars on haircuts every month. Really? Yeah. Why? Nadia Suleiman. Nadal, Nadia Suleiman. She pulls in about two grand a month on food stamps and California's taxpayer money. And you also, son of a bitch. All sorts of fun things like that. Spence well, is very upset at this. Octomom's um, hairstylist, Stephanie, went on the record and said that she was at Octomom's house. She was doing one of those special Brazilian blowouts that cost uber amounts of money. Does it really cost that much? Didn't you do a, like, a straightening once? I never did a straight. You never my hair one? is naturally straight. I Why thought you I went for some weird thing oh, that that messed up your hair. Do you remember that? I did a perm, uh. which is the opposite of a straightening. It was the opposite of what this woman's getting done. And ruined your hair. No, my hair's okay. I grew out. Okay. You it, sued him though. I did. Yeah. Because I can. Yeah. All right. So basically this woman is saying that she spent um, about $520 on various hair treatments and haircuts and whatever. And while she w- had come to the house to do this haircut, her kids were going to the bathroom in the backyard because the pl- the plumbing was broken. Oh. And the plumber came to the house while Stephanie, the hairstylist, was there. And Suleiman sent him away because she claimed that the amount of money to fix the toilet was about $150, and, and that was just too much. But she but, has $520 to get her hair done. But she is on, I guess, Social Security, and, and uh, not Social Security, but she's getting, like, government well, aid. on the record, they're saying that she's bringing in about 2000 a month. With Some what? tons of money. What is she doing? On welfare. Oh, she's bringing $2,000 on welfare. From but welfare, you know, food stamps, various. Like, government aid. Yeah. But she also makes money... Doing like whatever, right? I'm sure. Like, is anyone who's paying her for stuff? <sighs> Who knows? But whatever she is making is not going to fix her plumbing, which I would think would be priority number one. Her children allegedly are going to the bathroom in those training potties Ugh. all out in the backyard. Can you imagine like when her kids become famous? No. Dear Lord, no. I don't know. Well, this woman, Stephanie then went to the cops and filed a report um, against her, like with AC, um, ACS, claiming that sh- her children are living in squalor. And, and, and what happened? They came. We haven't, we haven't heard anything yet. I hope they come and take all those kids and just flush them down the drain. I don't think that's what they do. With them. They're zombie kids. They're, They're not real. All right. So a lucky mistake for a Virginian woman who accidentally bought two lottery tickets on the same day with the same numbers, but she won. Twice. Twice. So she so realized the mistake in the store. She meant to buy one lottery ticket, one Mega Bowl ticket, one Powerball ticket, whatever. Um, the guy accidentally printed up two Powerball tickets with the same mm-hmm. numbers on it. And she said, you know what? Whatever. If I win, so win twice. And so. Um, you don't win twice. You have to split the money up. Not with Powerball. She had really? four. Yeah. She had four out of the five numbers. Um, she had five out of the six numbers. On both tickets, and so she won one million dollars on each ticket because okay. each ticket had. If she had won the grand prize of like three hundred and forty million, she would have had to split it with herself. But because she only had a certain amount of numbers on the ticket, she wasn't winning the full prize. So it was like a, a grand prize okay. of one million for getting five out of the six. So she was sitting by her mother's bedside in the hospital. And the numbers, the Powerball numbers came up and it said two, there are two winners from your town. And they were, you know, they said, oh, wouldn't that be funny if I was the two winners? And it was her. And it turned out to be her. So she says that she's going to spend the money on her parents and medical bills and just regular bills. But she's why happy can't, why can't one. we win the lottery? I don't know. I mean, I really, I really want, I think I deserve it. I work hard. 
I deserve to win the lottery. And it's always people that don't deserve it that win. Like like starving moms on welfare. (laughs) Like those are the people that that end up winning. Not me. Octo mom wins. No. All right. So (laughs) Greg Miller is becoming famous for selling testicular implants for dogs. Yeah, that's right. What? Testicular implants for dogs. Oh, for when they get their balls cut. Yeah, neutered dogs can still have their nuts, basically. Buy fake ones in there. Yeah. They're basically like little silicone implants that are implanted into the little sack. By the way, uh, talking about neutering, Mm. uh, the Wow and Snooki show is happening June 12th on MTV. With her pregnant? Uh, th- did they cancel the Paul E.D. show? Because they said it was an abortion of a television show. Oh, is it? I oh, thought it was still so on. Bad. No, it's so bad. I think it's still on, though. They hate it. MTV hates them. Oh, him or yeah. the show? The, the, everything about it. Oh, okay. They want the train wreck. All right. Well, police arrested a six-year-old yesterday for kicking his principal in Indianapolis. Six-year-old kicked the kid. No, the principal. The principal kicked the six-year-old. No, the six-year-old kicked six-year-old the principal. Six-year-old ki- kicked the principal. <laughs> and then got arrested. Um, Good. He should be put in jail. So the six-year-old apparently has all these like issues. He's very violent. He kicks other children. He kicks the principal. He, in this particular incident, kicked the principal and then told the principal he was going to kill him and then threw his body on the floor of his office and the principal just called the police and had him escorted out to the police car and he was arrested and charged with um, disorderly conduct and... Various other. I think the kid should be put into jail for the rest of his life and never let out. This is the thing. All these kids that I went to school with, Mm. they were assholes, like really bad kids. Yeah. Guess what? They're still really bad kids. Yeah. Every asshole you met at six years old is still an asshole. Still the same kid. There was this kid named Billy. I'll never forget. And he was like, he was huge. He was like a 20 year old. Right. In fourth grade, mm-hmm. he was just as big, like every bully that you see on TV. Right. Like this is what he was. And he would just pick on everybody. Mm-hmm. My teacher turned around. He goes, listen, if the Billy ever picks on you, ask him why his brother has a different last name than he does. That's so messed up. And I, I and he was acting like an asshole. Like we were, it was in lunch mm-hmm. and we were waiting to get the hot lunch and the kid was acting up. And I said, Billy, can I ask you a question? Why does your brother have a different last name than you do? And he started crying, 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 crying to the point that like he it looked like he was hurt violently. And everybody from that point on started making fun of him and started saying that his brother is like, like, why does your brother have a different last name? Your brother has a different last name. Your mom married a different guy. Your mom cheated on your father. Like crazy stuff. We bullied this kid to the point that the mother took the kid out of the school. And you know what? He deserved it. And you know what he's doing now? Blow. Hmm. All day and all night. It's a rich people's drug. Not blow. Oh. Crack. Yeah. I'm just being nice. Okay. Well, everyone's favorite White House crasher, Tariq Salahi, is running for Virginian, uh, for Virginia governor. Why? Real Housewives of New York, of DC. You know that guy? His yeah. wife left him. Yeah, for crazy. Um, for some rock singer. Yeah. And then um, now he's running for governor. Because that's. Yeah, but they're mentally ill, these people. Do. Yeah, he's, no, he's these people are Ill. insane. Their show was ridiculous. It was awful. And this guy is. Oh, my God. I have no words for him. So. We have talked so much about the Chicken McKicker. That does not exist. <laughs> the Chicken Double Down. No, the from KFC. McKicker does not exist. The Chicken McKicker should exist. Actually. It does. The Chicken McKicker? Yeah. It does exist? No, it doesn't. Oh. What's funny is I, I actually brought it up to somebody today because someone said that they, they wanted um they wanted to eat like some. Cr- He's like, I want, I want a sandwich made out of chicken cutlets. I'm like, you want a Chicken McKicker, sir. That's what you want. And then I walked out of his office. He had no idea what I was talking about. But now, mm-hmm. Pizza Hut has a new ridiculous menu Please item. tell me it's a McKicker. Well, it's a pizza place, so no. But it is going to have... Are you ready for this? Mm-hmm. Cheeseburgers. It's small mini cheeseburgers making up the crust of the pizza. 
So when you pick up the pizza, uh-huh. it's going to be like two mini cheeseburgers. No crust. Cheeseburgers. A line, a link. Of cheeseburgers. Linked little mini cheeseburgers. No, but uh, I'm. Sh- how do they do that? I don't understand. So it's the pizza, like the a pizza. normal pizza, right? With cheeseburgers. No, but the, is the pizza normal? Like a slice? Is it cheese and and, well, and sauce? The ch- the it's going to be more like a cheeseburger pizza. Okay. So there is cheese, but it's going to be cheese, lettuce, tomatoes, you know, onions, beef topping, unidentified special sauce, mm-hmm. and cheeseburgers on the outside. Where can I buy this? Uh, currently in the Middle East. <laughs> Why isn't it here? I don't know. You know, they always get the good stuff. We never get this stuff. Uh, like, there's some crazy shit at McDonald's that like, they sell in, in Japan. Mm. Like, KFC in Japan right. has, you know, like, like cat embryos <laughs> with the chicken. We don't get any of this stuff. Like, I want the cheeseburger... Pizza. Pizza Hut pizza. Right. I'm a big fan of stuffed crust. Mm. I think stu- like if you get a stuffed that crust a good with a thin crust, mm. which you could order, mm. you got to tell them it's a special order. Just make it thin and I want the stuffed crust. Yeah. They can modify it. I, I, I think all they do is they just push down Maybe. the existing frozen pizza that they have. Sure. Regardless of what they do. Phenomenal idea mm. to put cheese in the crust. Yes. Why can't they just stuff it with cheeseburgers? You want to stuff the crust? Yeah, with the that's what I want. Or you want to stuff it with the beef and the cheese? That the makes... beef and the cheese and and the bread. <laughs> and Literally, the, I like want I want I want someone to make cheeseburgers. Take the cheeseburger while hot, puree it. Oh, just inject it in the crust. Oh my god, that sounds disgusting. I could not with a baster. It'll be sh- amazing. I'm telling you. I Why? vomited a little bit. Why would that mouth. be disgusting? That's awful. You want to puree cheeseburgers. Why would it be I'm disgusting? I'm going to make you pureed cheeseburgers. I'll have it. Okay. It's the same as, as the, the actual thing. What would be the difference? Oh, there's a huge texture difference there, sweetheart. Texture, I'm gonna, yes. I'm going to make you blended cheeseburgers for dinner. And then you're going to tell me how that... I'm going to blend cheeseburgers. I'm going to pour it in a bowl. And I'm going to give you a spoon. No, you're not, you're not drinking it. What, it. what happens is you take the, you take the mix... <laughs> cheeseburger you inject it in the crust and you heat it up and it hardens i don't understand what what the problem is there you think that if you blend a cheeseburger up and Mm -hmm. then place it in into the crust crust, it's going to re-solidify into to some extent they can figure that out into a burger not not a burger sorts. not a burger but it'll it'll harden up a little bit hmm. and it'll be gooey so when you're eating it you could you know just take a little i'm gonna blend up some burgers for you okay i'm going to make it into a puree a puree yeah i'm not saying and it then doesn't... i'm going to make you a pizza okay and i'm going to inject the crust inject with the it. crust with the pizza and you are going to eat it on air i will eat it on air all of it uh, Brian Monroe in the chat room says, uh, disgusting. how about a hot dog stuffed inside of the crust? I think that's also phenomenal. Well, I think that's what we talked about last week, didn't we? I don't remember. That's why this was like the follow up to that story. I think that's in existence already, which again, super gross. There's also a chicken finger pizza with chicken fingers in the, in the crust. In the crust, pureed. I think it's pureed. What's your what puree? Is, I don't understand why they don't puree this stuff. Why would you want to puree make it like it? the? You know what? I want it to be the consistency of cheese. But it will never be the consistency why? of cheese. That's like saying I want this. Blanket. We walked on the moon in the sixties. Why can't we do that with food? We can make a tofu. Can you make, can you make your your cereal in the morning the consistency of cheese? I'm not a rocket scientist. <sighs> So that's what you think the rocket scientists should be doing? I think they should. Uh, listen, NASA has a lot of downtime now. There's no more space program. We're not going to the moon. We haven't gone to the moon in many years. I think they should be concentrating on pureeing things. Mm. For me. Right, of course. Like, can you imagine a pureed? No. A pureed KFC bucket. Just take all that and puree it. What would be the difference? It would taste the same. No. You don't think it would taste the same? It would be gross. 
What do you think grounded beef is? That's not a puree. It's beef that that's and you're actually put through a grinder. Yeah, but you're creating. You're putting it back together. What would happen if you to took? Okay, so what if you something? took? What if you took the components of a burger, the salad, the, this or that, and you put it through a grinder and you made it into a pureed material and then you cooked it? Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm you're gonna, gonna say no. I'm gonna do it for you. Okay. I'm going to put the burger with the bun and the cheese and the lettuce and the tomato and all of that in a blender. I'm going to puree it for you and then I'm going to s- put it back in the pan and I'm going to make you a patty of the puree. I think that's fine and I would like Jeffrey Dahmer to make my meal. Do you want people to be in it? Yes. Okay. All right, so we're to our last news story. Okay. That was it? Yeah. Okay. Um, All right. So a New York woman was fired after donating a kidney to help save the life of her boss. Yeah. Don't do that. (laughs) This is why I don't do nice nice things for people. Now people understand why when people are like, hey, did you hold the door for that old woman? I go, no. Why should I? Wow. Why? Nobody appreciates it. They expect it. Mm. Therefore, I will not do it. Yeah, that's great. All right. Well, she basically um, offered her boss the the kidney and her boss originally turned it down. But then after, you know, his life was pretty much over, he went to her and asked her if she could please mm-hmm. donate the kidney. And so she agreed and she donated the kidney and then had some issues pertaining to the surgery with um, nerve damage and stomach issues and all different problems and because of it had to take off a significant amount of work and then the company fired her did she does the boss know yes and what did he say nothing she's suing yeah but i'm sure she was a pain in the ass maybe but don't accept like a job doesn't fire you for yeah. giving a kidney. I'm sure she was just an, an, an awful pain in the ass. There's always a reason why you get fired. Like the, the, the whole concept of I got fired because I was a great employee is not true. You get fired because for whatever reason you were a pain in the ass. Mm. I used to work when I was at the Gap. I used to work with this woman that, that was working there. And she was a total pain in the ass. I mean, she was just annoying to be around. She, like she didn't do anything bad. She was just really annoying. And everybody tried to get her fired. Like, we would plant stuff to the point that somebody took belts, put in her bag, and she got caught stealing belts just to get rid of her. Oh, my God. She was that annoying of a person. You people are really ridiculous. You're ridiculous. No, this is the reality of the world, Jessica. Not everybody lives in the this happy bubble that you're in. I like my happy bubble. I like it just fine. This is what happens when you become Maybe an annoying person. you should person. spend more time in my bubble. No, I don't want to be there. I think you want to be in my it's bubble. It's not reality. You should be in my bubble. People are awful. That's the name of the show. Do they still give huh. the crowns at Burger King? I don't think so. Because what a depressing thing. Like kids are walking around with a crown that says Burger King. Like my mom did not want to cook dinner. So we went and had awful food tonight. And we loved it as kids. Mm-hmm. Like I would love to get that crown. It just shows how awful your parents are now. Wow. <laughs> and that's my rant about Burger King. That sounds great. I still want all this. Uh, where, I'm trying to find what the grossest thing at Pizza Hut is. Let me see. Before we wrap it up, I do want to see this. Ah, cheesy bite pizza. Here it is. Phenomenal. It's cheesy bites yeah. with a pizza. And you pull off the cheesy and then you dip it and then you pop it in your mouth. Eleven ninety nine with one topping. This is a great idea. Who said we can't make a good pizza in fast food? This is what a real pizza is. Like I want to go to like Luigi's Pizza and be like, hey, can I have a cheesy bite? Large. You th- what would they do if I, t- I asked them that? Like, can you, uh, can you make me a stuffed crust? I don't know. I don't think that so they good. do that. I think that it, that's only like a Pizza Hut thing. You think this is awful? Look at this thing. I have it on camera. All right, let's wrap it up. Go to our website, guys, from queens.com. Short show today. Nobody showed up, so it's only us. Uh, we did about an hour 20, so that's not bad. Uh, go to Jess. Any plugs? 
Follow me on Twitter now. Be in my bubble. What's your Twitter? Jessica Zarian. You don't even know. It's great. That's what it is. Okay. Is it not? No, it is. Huh. Uh, Andrew is Zarian on that? Twitter. Also follow GFK Network, GFK Network on Twitter. Uh, you can go to my new website, andrewzarian.com. Uh, my new website, uh, Suncast just made it and put it up. So uh, we still tweaking some stuff, but uh, andrewzarian.com, my new website. And uh, we'll see you all tomorrow. Uh, full schedule tomorrow, actually. Behind the counter, uh, Tech News Weekly, the free for all. I think that's about it. Okay. Good night, everybody. Good night.